Membranes are a protein mosaic. The protein mosaic is asymmetric, and we also note that it is a fluid mosaic. That is, the proteins are not fixed in place in the membrane, unable to move, but in fact they can move. And this is an experiment. A human and a mouse cell can be fused, and because the mouse and the human cell have different membrane proteins, it is possible through the techniques described here after the fusion to watch the proteins of the mouse cell move into the region of the human cell membrane and vice versa. The technique here is fluorescence microscopy based on making antibodies to mouse cell surface proteins and human cell surface proteins and then tagging each of them with a different fluorescent dye that will fluoresce a different color represented here by red and green and what you see is live cells fusing and then over time the fluorescences mix because the membrane proteins that are bound to those antibodies are moving laterally in the membrane and eventually diffusing throughout the entire membrane of this fused pair of cells. Here's another experiment that was done. I mentioned concanavalin A before, a plant lectin, a protein that can bind cell surface carbohydrates, and that capacity was used in this experiment. Here, the con A was tagged with a fluorescent marker so that you could visualize the con A in the fluorescence microscope. Uh, the, the cartoon shows glycocalyx oligosaccharide coated proteins in green, so the cell is a circle coated with sugars, and the con A is this reddish crescent shaped molecule. Each con A molecule can bind more than a few sugar residues, so lectins are, are fairly large proteins with a number of different binding sites for sugars. So we have fluorescent tag con A, and what happens when we mix that with the cells? First they bind, because each con A can attract and bind additional sugars, some of the proteins in the membrane move and stick to the con A that bound initially, say, to only one or two glycoproteins. The result in the fluorescence microscope is to create patches of fluorescence around these cells. And that's in fact called patching, sometimes it's called capping. So the clear implication is that protein components of the membrane can move along the surface of the membrane, that they are fluid.